Good morning, folks. First sequence is an aesthetic piece only as Plasma begins dancing up into the corona. As we continue, however, things get a bit more practically relevant. The sun is fire to see ME at Earth. We'll primarily be doing an initial diagnosis of the plasma cloud heading this way, followed by a look at intense solar wind, sights and news from the sky, and circle back round for weather at the end. Spaceweathernews.com looking at the last day on our star, and I bet you can pick out what we're focused on. The central plasma filament field strewn about the Earth-facing disk began breaking magnetic connections, lifting, and releasing into space as an eruptive CME. While multiple ropes destabilized, it was the central prominence that released the most visibly, and that one appears to be heading at Earth. SOHO needs a few more hours to update, but Stereo A directly behind the sun can already see the blast. Very wide angle, and I would be astounded if both NASA and NOAA don't suggest impact Sunday night or Monday morning from this. By tomorrow morning's news, we'll have those updates. Plasma filaments were all we were watching as the solar flaring remained dismally low but at least now we don't have a blank disk. New grouping turning in, and it's got beta polarity from the get-go, so eyes on that one for development. Solar wind continuing to intensify. Despite a few hours of missing ACE data, we can see the speedy corona hole stream in yellow ramping up over 600 kilometers per second. Earth's magnetic field is unstable, but has kept global storm conditions at bay, leaving isolated disruptions and energetic particle flux perturbations. Next coronal hole is creeping towards center disk today. We're in a brief quake lull until it gets there. Folks, that flaming sight over the western U.S. was indeed the Chinese Long March 7 rocket. It fell harmlessly, but hey, never let it be said that China can't launch something that comes down over U.S. soil. Eyes on the skies for real meteors, folks, as we're entering the season over the coming two to three weeks. Sticking with space, one has no choice but to now be curious about Juno. We got a hazy, low-quality image on approach to Jupiter, but since then, nothing. No photos, no data, just a satellite trying to avoid Zeus's thunderbolts. How long before you start to wonder the same? Confirmation of a long-term focus, Apollo astronauts are suffering in their cardiac system. They say it's due to space energy exposure, which is precisely the worry there and here with a weakening magnetic field at Earth and continued passenger airline industry. This footage comes out of Nepal from earlier this week. We mentioned that the flooding in India stretched from Iran to China, and that is still ongoing as the rain isn't set to stop at least until tomorrow for some regions. It was another night of hail and flash floods in the United States. Hopefully the energetic and large ice aspects of the storms will be absent tonight, but the flash flood risks where the available potential energy will peak this evening from the plains towards the Appalachians will be prominent as the sun goes down tonight. Europe it's still that earth spot set on the north, driving concentric rain bands making their way far inland. Southern areas, enjoy this little breather, it will not last. Down under, we continue to see the Antarctic lows reaching up to create the top alerts here, New Zealand, and then another one scraping the southern coastlines of Australia. You may have noticed a typhoon candidate to the north off the Philippines. This one not expected to get much stronger, but Earth spots here can destabilize the lithosphere, so eyes open. Still, some mean looking Earth spots in the south here. These are rolling along at a very good clip, so your local forecasts are your best bet to time these storms. Folks, thank you for three great years at suspiciousobservers.org. We have parlayed your support into half a dozen free resource websites, the conferences, the mobile observatory project, and more. Everything accomplished is a testament to the collective. We've got shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.